Welcome back Glam Fam. It's your girl Angela Denise honey and we are here today to talk about this new Natasha Denona palette and that is the Natasha Denona gold palette for holiday 2018 and today we are going to be creating the look that you see here on my eyes. I'm feeling it. I just basically sat down and did a little freestyle. We will be doing a series of videos using this palette. No need to worry. Um, in case you have not seen the palette, this is what it looks like. And of course, the palette does retail for $129. There are a total of 18 shades in the palette. And this is what she looks like. Um, I do think the palette is very, very, very beautiful. A few of the shades I do not have in my collection. Plus, this is my very first Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. I do plan on picking up the Star Mini palette as well, just in case you guys were wondering. I do also have the new Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction palette. If you guys are interested in seeing my tutorial with that look, um, it will be linked down in the description bar, just in case you haven't checked it out already. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this look right after the eyeshadow tutorial. We're going to go ahead and swatch these eyeshadows on my skin tone. So if you are not subscribed to my channel already, I would love to have you a part of the family. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also go ahead and turn on that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. So as soon as this beautiful palette here launched on the Sephora.com website, I ordered it immediately and I have it here for you today. Um, today is Friday and we are going to go ahead and dive right into the look. So we both know what she looks like. Don't want to blind you guys, but this is the palette and it has like the shades on here and then a really nice mirror um but we'll look at it a little bit closer once we um at the end of this video i'm really trading lightly with this palette because i've never used natasha's eyeshadows before so um i really don't know how to work with her formula is i'm gonna go ahead and it go into the palette and put a light wash of color with um sandstone just that color so I'm gonna do that with my Mac 224 blending brush so whenever you place your brush into the shades they kick up quite a bit You really can't see that shade on my skin tone at all. But I at least wanted to go in and just test it. I'll go ahead and take my MAC 217 blending brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of Teak, that shade. Bringing it just a hair above the crease. Um, this is another crease brush and this is a Morphe brush, but the numbers has rubbed off. I'm going to go into Dijon with this brush and I'm going to apply that in the inner half of my eye. I'll go back in, not adding any color to my MAC 217 with the color Teak on there. I 
okay I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back I'm thinking that I'm gonna take the blue color out of the palette Python and this is just a round crease brush no name company something I ordered online and I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner of the eye and I'm going in light and building up the color because don't know how it's gonna react So now I'm basically just blending out any harsh edges. Then I'm gonna take this small crease brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of log. We're gonna pick up some log. I'm gonna go in with that round crease brush and just pick up a little bit more of that turquoise color. It's, that's not really turquoise, it's just, I'm just gonna say blue. Blending the edges here. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up one of the golds. I'm going to take Oro and apply it on this part of my lid. I'm not going to add any Duraline mixing medium. I'm not going to add any Fix Plus. I'm not add anything. I'm just going to pat that color on where I want it. I'm gonna go in with that small brush that we applied log with, that brown color, and just kind of do some blending here. And then pick up my MAC 217 brush, and that is what I applied teak, and that is that mid-tone brown color here. And I'm going to just blend my upper crease. Um, this color Oro is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take this really small crown brush and this is also sable hair and I'm gonna pick up the shade Kava, Kava, Kava. Um, this shade here, I think that it's called Kava. And I'm going to, I believe that this is one of the topper shades too by the way. And I would just put that in here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and complete the other eye apply my face makeup and I'll be right back so that we can finish up the bottom part of the eye okay we'll go ahead and start with our Marc Jacobs gel liner and this is in blacker Okay, so I'm going to take a crown C513 brush and I'm going to go in with this blue color on the outer corner of my eye at the bottom. Okay, then I'll go in with that same brush that I was applying this gold shade Aura with. 
and apply that on the inner corner of my eye. Then I'll take this pointed Morphe crease brush and apply a little bit of uh, Dijon up under the eye. We're gonna go ahead and do the Allure Bronze Beauty lashes mink like lashes and i've worn these before i purchased them from ulta and i'm really loving them Okay, Divas, this is what she looks like up close and personal. This is the new Natasha Denona Gold Eyeshadow Palette. You get 15 shades for a total of 2.5 grams of product. And the shades do come on the back of the box, just in case you were wondering, in addition to on a sleeve inside the palette. So this is what the outside looks like. It is absolutely stunning. It has a 24 month shelf life once you open it. And it has a really nice mirror and it has this little thingy in here with the shade names on it. So we are just gonna start swatching because I'm sure that's what you guys came here for. So um, we're gonna swatch these shades on my skin tone just so we can kind of get a feel of um, what they look like. So we're going to start from left to right, um, top row first. The first shade is Lime Chrome. It's very, very, very buttery. It reminds me of actually the Pat McGrath special shades, you know. A lot like them actually, the texture. It's beautiful. The next shade is kind of like the standout shade of the palette and that is Python. It is a matte shade. It is very, very nice and buttery. Next we have something like a, a pressed glitter. That's what it feels like by texture, but it's one of those topper shades because it's kind of translucent and it's called Sparks. Ooh, she's pretty. Next is a matte shade. It is a very creamy matte shade. Um, this particular shade did not have as much kick up as some of the other matte shade, the other brown ones in the palette. And you really can't see this one on my skin tone. And the name of that shade was Area. The next shade is Kava. And it's kind of like another one of those pressed glitter shades. Kind of like Sparks. And this one has that gold sheen to it. It's beautiful. Next, we'll take the second row from left to right. Okay, so first we have Aurora. Ooh, 
very very pretty then we have Dijon it's a nice creamy matte color this color has a lot of kick up in the palette when you finger swatch it in addition to using it with the brush and this color here is so pretty it kind of has a texture of one of Pat McGrath's special shades and this is Oro she's stunning next is the deepest brown shade of the palette it is a nice creamy matte color as well it has not as much kick up as Dijon does but it still has quite a bit of kick up um, I did use it today and that is log um, this next one is Vars and it's kind of like a satin and it's a, like a bronze color it's beautiful it reminds me of the shade, the red shade out of the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. That's kind of how it feels in texture. Okay, we have the very last row of colors. So the first one is Brass, and it's kind of like a pressed glitter. Similar to Lime Chrome, the first shade in the palette. And honey, this is beautiful. The next one is a mid-tone light brown color called Sandstone. This one has a lot of kick up in the palette in addition to when I was using it in my makeup tutorial. Um, and this one you really can't see on my skin tone either. Next we have Alchemist. Another one of those special shades very nice texture similar texture to Oro that really pretty gold color right here this is just beautiful she got the golds right I have to say that um, next is Teak next is Teak and this is a really pretty creamy brown matte color um, has a lot of kick up all the mattes have a lot of kick up um, when you use them but it's a very nice pretty medium tone brown color I like it a lot and last but not least is what is this Aurum A-U-R-U-M and this is kind of like another one of those satiny shades and that's the palette out of everything that i swatched um it's just kind of a bummer that two of the browns really don't do anything for me honestly two of the matte shades yeah these are the swatches i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and swatch today um let me know if you guys plan on picking up the palette um these shades are absolutely stunning this is my first experience with natasha Nadona, natasha denona's uh formula so um yeah i will keep you guys posted there will be more videos to come using this palette and until the next time dolls i will see you later bye